Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Vivek Ramaswamy, and I want to talk about what on earth is happening um, right now in, um, yeah, in, what on earth is happening with Vivek Ramaswamy right now? Because we're in a confusing time, right? Uh, so I've been doing a video a day covering Vivek Ramaswamy for eight months, right? Uh, coming up on nine months. And uh, so is something going to be birthed? I don't know. Uh, so basically, and, um, and I felt that I should stop doing that when Vivek Ramaswamy failed to make the debates, right? And I was like, hey, everybody, Vivek Ramaswamy's done. You want to know why? Because CNN just brushed him aside like a gnat and the RNC was cool with it and America was cool with it. And I'll tell you right now, I have not heard an uproar about Vivek Ramaswamy not being in the, I've heard some whispers, I've heard some growls from, you know, from from Vivek Ramaswamy uh, followers, but I haven't, but there's, n the America did not go, hey, what's what's going on here, man? Like, uh, you know, how can you just brush aside uh, the person of color candidate in the Republican um, debates, right? Like when he's still doing great and, and polling well, right? And I think we all we all understand why, right? And I and I want to explain this, right? So I just saw the movie um, Mean Girls, and I'm just gonna and I'm gonna explain. And so in Mean Girls, Katie, uh, this girl who's a homeschooled student, gets a friend named um, Janice. And Janice does art, and what she does is she draws a picture, and then she puts really outlandish colors on the pictures with thread, right? And um, and so Katie says, hey why are you doing why do you do your art that way why do you draw and then you color your drawing with thread right why don't you just let the you know why don't you let the the drawing speak for itself and she's like the the drawing is facts and the thread is feeling and when you see her art you're like oh wait the you know the part that's important is the um is the feelings right and that's our world facts don't matter anymore Truth doesn't matter anymore. Feelings matter. Oh, you, Scott, no, that can't be possibly true. Let me let me let me state a fact to you, okay? Right now, Donald Trump is openly, openly quoting the Mustache Man from World War II. Openly quoting in front of, in front of, the mainstream media. Openly quoting him like once a week, right? And you're like, oh well, okay, you know, Donald Trump is openly quoting. The mustache man from World War II, his campaign must be finished, right? People are outraged. No, no, not at all. He's doing fine. His numbers are up, right? We live in an upside down world, right? And so I will say what hap what's happening with Vivek Ramaswamy right now is he's actually in Iowa and he is caucusing, right? And he's doing everything he needs to win. But I can't imagine why anyone would think he has any possibility of winning. And the reason why is if you can be brushed aside by the mainstream media and by the RNC, and they can take you out of the cameras, this is America. You cannot win an election without cameras. That's just logic. And that's not even logic, that's a pattern. That's a pattern, right? Literally, there is a saying, picks are different, ha didn't happen. If you can't make a debate, who on earth is gonna vote you in as president, right? If you can't overcome the obstacles to outmaneuver CNN, how on earth can you outmaneuver uh, the, all the obstacles it takes to be president in the United States and frankly, king of the world, because that's what the job is. It's king of the world, okay? It's not really even president of America. It's king of the world. You know how I know that? Because I talk about an American election every day. You know who's commenting? Like half the people commenting aren't don't even live in this country and have no, and it logically should have no stake in this election, but they're here because they know our president is their king, king of the world. It's just a way of it. Right. So, so what is happening with, um, with the Vivek Ramaswamy? I don't know. Like I hate saying those words. I am confused. Right. I don't understand why there are people rolling up in my comments going, Hey, Vivek's going to win. Are you, are you like, that's an apple's banana statement, right? Like he, he is no longer in front of the cameras, right? Like he, he was not even allowed to, to attend the last debate. I don't understand how anybody can think he could possibly win, but people do, right? And so I did want to talk about this because this is, we are in an extremely weird space and I am extremely confused, right? And it, and the reality is he is working hard and he is doing everything he ca he has to, to reach a point where he's going to matter. 
But it's hard for me to realize and understand why Vivek Ramaswamy matters when CNN and the RNC were able to brush him aside and America did not care. That's the part, okay. CNN and the RNC brushing him aside is wrong, right? But this is America and we rule, the people rule, okay? And the people said, nah, do not care. And I think the reason for that is at the 51% level, Americans have decided that that one POC, one person of color president was enough. I reject that statement. And I say to the macro America, I say to macro America, 51% America, you could kick rocks and you beat Vivek Ramaswamy this time, in my humble opinion. I don't think he's coming back from this. I really don't. Not in this election. Okay. But, but I'm going to, but, and then, and then I recognize what the problem is. And then I say, what do I have to fix? And here's the issue, right? How do we get a good president? How do we get a president who doesn't literally openly quote the mustache man from World War II, right? How do we get somebody who li isn't literally a supervillain to be our president or some bl blanket clutching car Sarkafo candidate like President, B president Biden, who doesn't mean evil, just does evil by accident, right? Does evil by cowardice, does evil by inaction, does evil by not being able to speak complete sentences, right? But right now, Donald Trump intends evil and accomplishes evil, right? Biden doesn't, Biden doesn't intend evil, but he accomplishes it on the regular, right? So how do we get somebody who's a good president? Well, the answer is, and this is super sad, but I think this is where I land, we have to fix America. We have to cut hatred and prejudice out of the heart of this country virtually, right? We got to get to work. We are a prejudiced, outrageously prejudiced, outrageously hateful nation. And how do we fix that? We fix it American by American. And we never stop, right? We just celebrated Martin Luther King, right? We need a new hero. A hero. We need somebody who's going to stand up and say, this sucks. The CN CNN and the RNC just made an outrageously prejudiced action toward people of color. And the only real representation for people of color was just pushed off like a gnat, right? And that's wrong. But we can't get there until every American cries out and says, our commitment to people of color is not superficial. It is real, right? And the path to that is going to be hard. But it's 2024. We just started a new year. Let's get to work and let's get this fixed. I am confused when I look at Vivek Ramaswamy right now. I don't understand how anybody could look at a man who just got pushed away from the debates and say, well, he couldn't make the debates, but he's certainly going to be able to overcome every obstacle. And all he needed to be to, to do to beat to get into the debate was beat CNN and the RNC. Oh, but trust and believe he'll be able to overcome every other uh, other obstacle to being president. Right. And this isn't his fault. He did everything he should. The reason we have this problem is 51% of Americans are saying, they're saying the quiet part quiet. They're like, yeah, we had one person of color president. We're never going to do that again. That's what, that's what this is all about. And we have to fix this nation. One prejudiced person by one president person. We cannot stop. We have to hear Martin Luther King's words. And we have to have a dream that we can make 51%, we can make 65%, so there's a comfortable voting margin of the people in this country, not hateful bigots. That's every, that's my opinion. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. What's important is when I hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.